Hey guys, welcome to the Voice Academy. Today's video is about opening a bottle of sparkling wine, champagne, prosecco, whatever it is. Sparkling wine is a little bit different than normal wines. Nothing scary. There are just some details that you need to follow to ensure that everything is fine and everybody is safe. Green salad with French dressing. Thank you very much. Yeah. For opening a bottle of champagne, all you need is your champagne and a napkin. You might need also wine opener, because even though champagnes have this lane here, sometimes it breaks down, you cannot remove the foil, so let's do it the hard way. You use the knife, you cut it, and you remove it. That goes in your pocket. Now, as you see here, the safety net is what holds this cork inside the bottle. To ensure that there are no accident we use always a napkin we cover it with a napkin and we hold it with a napkin once you start removing the safety net you never move your finger from the top of the bottle because that's what hold the cork inside now nothing else inside this bottle there are a lot of pressure and if you don't keep your finger on the cork it can fly away and hit somebody on the eye on the head you don't need embarrassment like that now once you open the safety net you don't need to move your finger and take the net off nothing like that we don't remove this finger no more from the cork what we're going to do is we're going to remove the cork with the net everything out what you do is you hold the bottle on an angle usually 45 degrees this ensures that there is much more space inside the bottle for the bubbles to come out and it's not exploding okay it could still explode if this bottle has not been handled properly but this helps you prevent the foam just flying out of the bottle like crazy what we do we hold the cork with our left hand very strong and we start turning the bottle we don't turn the cork we turn the bottle a little bit left a little bit right you hear the pop now once you hear the pop you don't remove the cork immediately you push back so there is not so much air going inside the bottle and if there is bubbles and more pressure inside it's gonna go slowly out not at once and then you have foam coming out of the bottle this is all it takes guys now this bottle is open you remove everything you have the bubbles inside you have the cork with the napkin this goes away we don't put this no more in the bottle the next thing is we have to pour the champagne or the prosecco for the guest the best way to do that is to take the glass give it a little angle and then just start pouring this way we keep the bu bubbles inside the wine it still makes foam and still bubbly but if you do like most people do the glass stays on the table and you just pour it like that 
Now this wine inside the glass is three times more flat the, than the wine in this glass because we pull this properly. You put it on an angle and you very slowly put it inside. The sparkling wine is good when there is bubbles inside and that's why we do it the right way. This way our guests enjoy the wine much more and they appreciate your effort. And this is all that it takes to open a bottle of sparkling wine, guys. Nothing special, nothing scary. Of course, you need a little practice, but as long as you know the theory and you do it once or twice, you will be fine. Everything will go nice and smoothly. Every other bottle is going to be easier than the, the one before. And you will look like a professional and you will do a great job and your guests enjoy their evening with you you will make good tip you have a beautiful life thank you guys enjoy your evening enjoy your day make sure you work hard make sure you make very good money so you can really live a beautiful life take care green salad with french dressing thank you very much